So, what is going on YouTube? It's boy Sam from Team Xamarin X1 here. Happy Saturday! Today I'm coming at you with a brand new Dark Magician deck profile for the new October 1st, 2021 ban list. I think this deck is super awesome, especially with the new release of Piercer of Darkness. Gives a little, really cool, unique touch to Blue Eyes, and most importantly, Magician Salvation. Honestly, more Blue Eyes supports and more Dark Magician support is all we need, to be honest, man. I'm a huge fan of those guys. Today, I'm coming to you with a competitive version of this deck. I think it's really, really awesome. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Also, at the same time, for those of you who came to the live box ring yesterday, thank you guys so much. It was super duper successful, and I love to see all you guys there. And last night as well, I dropped the brand new Darkness playmat. Make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at TX1.com. This is a brand new playmat for 400,000 subscribers special and also at the same time in celebration of my TX1 shop reopening, this playmat is insane. And for those of you who purchased the playmat yesterday, thank you so much. All right, guys, don't waste any more of your time. Don't forget to that thumbs up button for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, man! All right, guys, don't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, let's get started with the brand new Dark Magician deck profile for the October 1st, 2021 ban list. All right, guys, let's do it. First and foremost, you're gonna get, of course, three copies of your Mango Negros right here. Absolutely amazing. Dark Magician, absolutely mandatory to play in any Dark Magician-based deck. Must play three copies of this card. Absolutely essential in any Dark Magician-based deck. Next off, you play, of course, one Dark Magician girl. For this specific variation of the deck, you're actually gonna be using Dark Magician Girl a lot. So you guys are gonna see why she's super duper important. Not only is she important with Soul Servant, so you can draw two cards while she and Dark Magician in the graveyard, but with the brand new field spell that came out, she becomes absolutely incredible. For some of the combos you're gonna facilitate in this deck right here. So Dark Magician Girl, absolutely important in the deck. And last but not least, of course, the One Red Eyes B Dragon. The only way to justify playing Dragoon is in a Dark Magician based deck. So you gotta play the One Red Eyes and of course the One Dark Magician Girl. That's pretty much it for all your vanilla monsters in the deck. Uh, triple copies of Magician's Rod, one of the best starter cards in the entire deck. So just basically any Dark Magician spell and trap card uh, directly from your deck to your hand. And during your opponent's turn, it can recycle itself, uh, which is absolutely insane. So triple copies of Magician's Rod is absolutely mandatory to play in the deck. Uh, next off, of course, one of the best starter cards as well is triple copies of Magician's Soul. So what this card does is that you reveal in your hand, and it's a cost to dump Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. And then you can either special summon this card or send this card to the graveyard and revive a Dark Magician or a Dark Magician Girl from your grave. Uh, which is absolutely important for the combo, especially to pair off alongside uh, Soul Servant. This card is just amazing to help get your Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard as quickly as possible, right? So, triple copies of Magician Soul is absolutely mandatory to play in the deck. Next off of the spells, one of the best spell cards in the deck, uh, triple copies of Soul Servant. This card lets you stack any Dark Magician type card to the top of your deck, and especially if you have Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl in the graveyard, you just draw two cards. So, Soul Servant is essentially a pot of greed. Uh, for the deck, which is absolutely incredible. And being able to stack your deck for any cards that you want for circle or just drawing to the cards that you need is absolutely essential uh, for this deck right here. So triple copies of Servant, Pot of Greed. Next off are your interruptions, triple copies of Dark Magical Circle. Uh, what this card does is that whenever a Dark Magician is summoned, you basically get to banish one card on your opponent's side of the field, which is absolutely insane. And it's essentially a pod duality for Dark Magicians. You can look at the top three cards of your deck. If you see a Dark Magician type card, you basically get to add it to your hand. Fortunately, you can't add Souls or Rod, but you can add any other spell card. Uh, using Dark Magical Circle's effect. But nonetheless, this card lets you stack your decks in ways that where if you don't see your Dark Magician cards, you can still draw into your interruption traps or hand traps if you're playing those type of cards in your main deck using cards like Circle to pair off alongside Soul Servant, right? So for example, if you don't see your Dark Magician cards, you can stack your deck in a way that you want your interruptions or hand traps. So that way that when you banish Soul Servant, you can just draw the two cards that you stacked with Dark Magical Circle, right? So this card is insane. Last but not least, you're playing the One Magician Salvation. Uh, this card is good, only one copy, because you're essentially playing four copies of this card in your deck. And the reason why you're playing four, actually, you're, you're, you're not playing four. You're playing seven copies of this card. One copy of itself, three copies of Rod, and three copies of Soul Servant, because all those cards get you access to this. What this card does, when you activate this card, you set an Eternal Soul directly from your deck to your side of the field. So this card already is like an instant plus one, uh, because it sets your Eternal Soul, and you can also send this card to the graveyard uh, while it's on the field with Magician's Soul, so you can draw one free card, uh, which is really good. What this card does is that if you normal summon or special summon Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, you can target one of those monsters, special one Dark Magician or one Dark Magician Girl from your graveyard with a different name than that monster. So what it does, you activate Eternal Soul, bring back Dark Magician, right? 
activate Salvation, target Dark Magician, Special Summon Dark Magician, bro. This card is insane. So every single turn to pair off with Eternal Soul, this card will provide back a free 2k beat stick on the field, not only to do damage, but it gets you access to Selene, Verde Anaconda, any Link plays. This card is insane. And I'll explain to you guys some cool combos with this card in the end, but this card is so good. Of course, the best spell in the deck, Triple Red Eyes Fusion. Honestly, we gotta play this card as much as we possibly can while we still can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know, Dragoon might get banned very, very soon, but the fact that we can play this card in this deck is ridiculous, right? What you do with this deck, activate Red Eyes Fusion, set three, four back rows, you win the duel. Like, Red Eyes Fusion is so good uh, in this deck, and the fact that it's a Dark Magician based deck is what makes it even better because it just dumps your Dark Magician in the grave, so that way that your souls can always dump Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. So you're consistently guaranteed to draw two cards every single time you resolve Soul Servant, right? Which is ridiculous. So, Triple Red Eyes Fusion is absolutely necessary in the deck. Next, one secret to Dark Magic. Uh, the Dark Magician is absolutely insane. A uh, really good card. And it's a quick play, so you can just battle phase, attack, attack with Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. That's 4,500 damage. Activate, of course, secrets of Dark Magic. Fuse those two, summon, of course, the Dark Magicians. Attack for another 28. Uh, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? So I believe that's like 7,200 damage. My math sucks, but Seekers of Dark Magic is just really good for that. And now with Salvation, you can consistently get access to having Dark Magician Girl on the field. So this card just becomes more value uh, when getting access to, of course, your uh, Dark Magicians, right? Which is really good. And last but not least, one Magicalized Fusion, aka Miracle Fusion uh, for a Dark Magician based deck. And you can also send this to the Graveyard off Predator Plant Verde Anaconda, right? Uh, which is really good. Next off for your traps, double copies of Eternal Soul. Remember, Kaiba needed to copy Yami Yugi, so they made the true light to copy this card, but obviously this card will always be the best in Dark Magicians. Uh, this paired off alongside Salvation is just ridiculous. Consistently just reviving back Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl every single turn is, is annoying and it's insane, so Soulzer is just ridiculous. Now off to the floodgates, the best way to play this deck is to flood your opponent out. Remember, I think the best way to play this deck is a trap heavy build, right? Because going second, traps are good. No need to play a bunch of hand traps because you'll lose to cross out designator. Uh, so I believe trap cards is the way to go in this format in my opinion. So uh, skill drain, auto win, rivalry, auto win, uh, goals and match as well. Like literally the best way to win now is just flood your opponent out and you use these cards just to win the duel, right? So this alongside Dragoons, they're not winning for sure. Uh, double copies of Torrential, a uh, really good card to help clear boards, and also at the same time, Dragoon is not affected by this, right? And it's also a really great go first or going second card, uh, which is ridiculous. So, breaks boards, same thing with Ice Dragon Prison, like helps breaks boards as well. Uh, this card is just absolutely ridiculous, man. All these trap cards are so good, and guess what? Cross out can't stop any of them, so, and there's no trap decks that are main deck in cross out, right? So, yeah, you're gonna be winning the duel most of the time. Triple Psalm Judgment. Uh, this card is surprisingly really good going second as well. Like, it's not that bad. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, people side in twins and stuff like that. Try to get rid of your cards, but, you know, Psalm Judgment and things like that are really, really good cards. They just help, you know, protect your back row and just protect your monsters. Uh, sometimes one Psalm Judgment just wins you the game, right? So, card's really good. Uh, obviously, way better going first, but going second is still keep it in because of Lightning Storm, Red Reboot, and all those annoying cards to stop your back row, right? And last but not least, uh, Triple Copy Psalm Strike, uh, the best counter trap card in the game right now. Really good at actually help breaking boards while going second. Psalm Strike is just absolutely ridiculous. Like these Psalms are just insane. Recommend you guys playing these cards right here in the main deck. So that's pretty much for the main deck. Let's go on to your extra deck real quick. Next off your extra deck, of course, the One Link Spider. Very important to send Dark Magician to the graveyard, uh, which is really nice. One IP. IP is great to go into Unicorn uh, during your opponent's turn, and it's really good because you use Eternal Soul to revive back Dark Magician. Salvation brings back Dark Magician Girl. IP and Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. You literally just make Unicorn bounce back a card. You also have Circle on the field. If you do that, you just like a bunch of interruptions during your opponent's turn, right? Uh, which is insane. So Unicorn is good for that. Selene, obviously, you're playing a spellcaster based deck. Selene becomes super broken in this deck. And of course, Axis Code Talker. Uh, Selene can also revive back Dragoon, by the way. So that's a really important thing to know. And Axis Code helps break boards. Uh, next, Double Verde. Always gonna have two in this deck since you're playing a bunch of fusions and if they stop one, you make another one and then you just win the game. So Verde is nice and we get to play it while we still can. Off to the fusions, of course, one Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. I try to make this in Dragoon while games two and three so they can't just twin your back rolls, uh, which is ridiculous. Double copies Dragoon. Like I said, guys, play him while we still can. He's insane. And uh, one copy of the Dark Magicians um, to round off for all the fusion monsters 
you're playing in this deck. Now off to your Xyz, one Zeus. Uh, Xyz is very flexible, you can play anything you guys are like, but I play Zeus because I'm playing a bunch of rank seven. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, like, you don't wanna break boards, I can easily make this, and then just make Zeus and clear other boards uh, once and for all. Uh, Red Eyes play Metal, he comes up because you can ride back Red Eyes uh, from your grave, which is ridiculous. And last but not least, of course, the number 11, Big Eye Tarana for all the monsters you're playing in the extra deck. So that's pretty much it for the entire deck, guys. Let's go on with a combo you guys can do with this deck right here. This deck is super fun and super insane. Before we get started with the combo, guys, if you guys haven't gotten your Darkness playmat yet, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at TX1.com. I dropped this yesterday at 9 p.m. EST on the live stream. Shout outs to everybody that bought this playmat for the 400,000 subscribers special. If you guys haven't gotten this playmat yet, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at TX61.com. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Again, anybody that purchased it, I love you guys so much, man. I can't thank you guys enough for your support on the reopening of the shop. So more playmats coming soon. This is the first drop right here. This mat is just absolutely sexy, man. I love this mat right here. This this is just insane. But anyway, guys, uh, Magician Souls and Magician Rod, the bread and butter combo of the entire deck. I'm gonna showcase you guys what you can do with this. A lot of people have already seen uh, on what this combo is able to do, but obviously for every Dark Magician video or any deck profile, I treat it as everybody who are watching this is kind of new to the deck. Because my goal is try to educate and make newer players learn how to play a deck like this. Because I know like most of you, hey, Johnny, Timmy, Tommy, I know that you know how to play the deck already, okay? Don't don't get mad at me. But what about for the Stevens out there, or for the Stefan out there that don't know how to play the deck? Let me show you. Bread and butter combo. So you're gonna go Magician's Rod, normal summon rod, activate Rod's effect, super simple. You are gonna search your Soul Servant. Now you're gonna activate Soul's effect, reveal this card in your hand. You're gonna dump Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. Put that as a graveyard right there. Now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna special summon Souls when you dump this to the grave. Now what you're gonna do is very simple. Using these two cards, link these two cards to the grave. Now you're gonna make Verde Anaconda. All right, make Verde. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate Verde's effect. You're gonna pay 2K in light points, send Red Eyes, of course, send Dark Magician, and your Red Eyes to the graveyard. And what's really good about this combo is that you're guaranteed two free draws already, just off two cards. Because look, one, Souls already dumped Dark Magician goes to the graveyard, and then Verde Anaconda sends the other Dark Magician to the graveyard, which is why Red Eyes Fusion is insane in this deck because not only does it get access to Dragoon, which I'm summoning right now, but it also dumps your Dark Magician to the graveyard, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry that it's a little bit dark over there. Let me move that over. Yeah, here, yeah, this is a little bit better. Anyways, so this is your graveyard right here, which is really good. Not, now your graveyard is just stacked. Now what you can do at this point is that you're gonna activate your Soul Servant. You're gonna stack Magician Salvation, the new card, to the top of your deck, okay? I wanna just use this as the top of my deck right here, okay? Using Salvation. Now, since Soul Servant, since you have Dark Magician and also Dark Magician Girl in the graveyard, you can banish Soul Servant that's in the grave. Very simple. You're gonna draw two cards. So you're gonna draw one, which is Salvation, which you stacked, and draw another card. And this can be anything. It's just an unknown card, right? Uh, usually at this point, you just pretend this card is like a card that Dragoon can just freely discard to negate something, right? Which is pretty cool. But you just draw two free cards. Now what you can do is very simple. You can just activate Sal Salvation. Uh, right here. Uh, what Salvation does is that it sets Eternal Soul from your deck to your side of the field, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. And this is your first turn board. Those are like the craziest board, but the follow-ups are insane. So you end on Dragoon, you gain an additional card, and you have, I believe, three other random cards that are still uh, in your hand. Off just two cards. So this is like two, this is what two cards gives you, right? And now on your opponent's turn, if you even have a circle, you pretty much just already win the duel. Now on your opponent's turn, what do you do is that you can activate Eternal Soul. Okay, you can special summon Dark Magician from your graveyard. Now Salvation is gonna trigger, target Dark Magician, special summon Dark Magician Girl back from your grave. And yeah, that's on your opponent's turn. Now on your turn, it comes back. So this is your opponent's turn. And now what you can do is even better is you can literally activate Rod's effect, okay, to tribute uh, the Dark Magician. Uh, actually, you can activate Rod's effect to tribute the Dark Magician Girl, okay, to special to, to add Rod to your hand, uh, which is really good since you activate Eternal Soul, and this is on your opponent's turn, uh, by the way, right? And now you pass back to your turn. Like, you don't even need to draw a card. Like, the next card you can draw is, like, random. And remember, you have, like, three also another card. Like, you also have three other cards uh, in your hand as well, right? So, like, this is your hand. It doesn't really matter what you draw. And that's why we're just going to pretend we're not drawing anything, and we just use on whatever we have, right? Uh, so this is already super duper broken. What you can do is super simple. You can normal summon Rod 
okay? Activate Rod's effect, search Soul Servant, activate Soul Servant. You're gonna stack Secrets of Dark Magic to the top of your deck. This is top of my deck right here. Now what you can do is that you can banish the other Soul Servant, draw this, draw an additional card, which doesn't matter at this point. You're drawing two because dark, you have Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl in the grave. Uh, now what you can do is super simple. You can activate Secrets of Dark Magic, fuse these two, okay? Literally make the Dark Magicians. There's so much you can do. Now what you do is you activate Eternal Soul, Revive by Dark Magician, activate Salvation, target Dark Magician, Revive by Dark Magician, go like, you guys, you guys see this, right? T tell, me, tell me you guys see this. Like, tell me this, this is insane. Like, you're constantly just reviving back more more monsters that, that can easily help your opponent OTK, like, that can easily help your OTK, uh, which is ridiculous. So you, you do that, right? Also, once you activate Salvations, you can also trigger off the Dark Magicians and just draw a card as well and just set it if you really want to. There's so much you can do, like so much plays uh, you can do at this point. Now what you can do is very simple. If, if you want, you can just make these two right here, uh, send it to the graveyard. Like you can make IP, uh, which is really nice, just in case you don't kill them. And then you can activate, of course, your Anaconda, uh, which is insane. You pay another 2K, you send, you banish these two. You're gonna be sending, of course, your Magicalized Fusion. You're sending your Magicalized Fusion to the graveyard. Okay, you're gonna send this, banish these two from your graveyard. You can either make this, or you can either make another Dragoon. Uh, which is absolutely like ridiculous like there are so much plays you can do uh, With the follow-ups like you can just summon another dragoon right here And then like what what are they gonna do at this point? Like you, you have so many interruptions and remember you have more cards in your hand as well Like the follow-up just two cards is just absolutely scary like if they don't they don't kill you like you're killing them like this is Two dragoons is, wow. This is actually just pretty scary. Man. Oh my god, and then somehow if you don't kill them you have this you have negates, um, you have IP, which helps you make uh, unicorn. Like so, so many interruptions right here, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? So that's pretty much for the combo. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, two cards can just turn into something so spectacular, especially with Salvation, man. I, I love this card, this card is so good. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts about this deck in the comments room below. And guys, make sure you guys get your Darkness playmat today in the link down below at TX1.com. For those of you who got a playmat, thank you, thank you. You guys mean the world to me, man. All right, guys, pretty much it. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace.